Did you know that in the Soviet Union, waiting in line was practically an Olympic sport? Picture this, a gentleman approaches a long queue outside a store and asks the last person, is this the line for bread? The person nods and replies, no, this is the queue for complaints. The line for bread forms on the other side, the one that circles the entire city. Life in the Soviet Union, where even standing in line became an art of patience and humor. Join us as we unravel intriguing facts about the Soviet Union, offering you a trip through time like no other. Early Years In the early long stretches of the Soviet Union, the nation was desolated by nationwide conflict and monetary breakdown. The new government carried out various revolutionary strategies, including collectivization of horticulture and quick industrialization. These arrangements prompted inescapable difficulty and enduring, yet they likewise assisted with changing the Soviet Union into a significant modern power. Stalinist Era Under the initiative of Joseph Stalin, the Soviet Union turned into an extremist state. Stalin's system was portrayed by mass constraint, oversight, and publicity. The public authority controlled all parts of society, from the economy, to the media, to human expression. Regardless of the suppression, life improved for the vast majority Soviet residents during the Stalinist time. The public authority put vigorously in training and medical services, and proficiency rates expanded decisively. The Soviet Union likewise turned into a significant military power, and it assumed a definitive part in the triumph of the partners in World War II. Post-War Era After Stalin's passing in 1953, Nikita Khrushchev turned into the new head of the Soviet Union. Khrushchev presented a time of de-Stalinization, which included a few unwinding of constraint and restriction. He likewise sent off various aggressive financial changes, yet entirely these eventually fizzled. In 1964, Lenoid Brezhev came to control. Under Brezhev, the Soviet Union entered a time of stagnation. The economy dialed back and there was a revisitation of a portion of the harsh strategies of the Stalin time. Major Role in Cold War the Soviet Union was a central part in the virus war, and it was continually contending with the US for worldwide impact. The Soviet Union was likewise an atomic power, and it had the second biggest military on the planet. Living Conditions Everyday environments in the Soviet Union fluctuated broadly, relying upon one social class and area. The way of life in metropolitan regions was by and large higher than in rustic regions. Party individuals and other high-positioning authorities partook in a favored way of life. However, most Soviet residents lived in humble condos and needed to line for fundamental products. Social Welfare in the Soviet Union The Soviet Union gave a far-reaching social well-being net for its residents. This included widespread medical services, training, and lodging. The Soviet government accepted that it was its liability to accommodate the fundamental requirements of its residents, and it put vigorously in friendly government assistance programs. Healthcare in Soviet Union One of the main social government assistance programs in the Soviet Union was widespread medical care. All Soviet residents approached free medical services, no matter what their pay or economic well-being. The Soviet government fabricated an enormous organization of clinics and facilities, and it prepared countless specialists and medical caretakers. Education in Soviet Union Education was exceptionally esteemed in the Soviet Union, and the public authority focused on it to give widespread schooling to its residents. The Soviet Union likewise had a flourishing social scene, with various incredibly famous craftsmen, performers, and movie producers. Essential instruction was mandatory, and optional training was additionally free. However, it was not obligatory. The Soviet Union had a top-notch college framework, and colleges were allowed to join in. The public authority additionally gave grants to understudies from low-pay families. Housing in Soviet Union The Soviet government likewise gave lodging to all residents. Lodging was designated by the state, and residents were normally allocated condos in enormous high-rises. The nature of lodging differed, however most Soviet residents approached sufficient lodging. Notwithstanding medical services, instruction, and lodging, the Soviet government likewise gave sponsorships to food and other fundamental necessities. This assisted with guaranteeing that all Soviet residents approached the fundamental labor and products they expected to carry on with a good life. Social Mobility in the Soviet Union Social versatility in the Soviet Union was moderately high. Anybody, no matter what their social foundation, could hypothetically ascend through the positions of the CPSU and accomplish a high-positioning position. 
Because of the public authority strategies, many individuals had the option to ascend through the positions of Soviet society. For instance, numerous laborers had the option to become talented specialists, designers, and researchers. Class Structure in the Soviet Union Regardless of the communist goals of the Soviet Union, there was a reasonable class structure set up. At the highest point of the social stepping stool were the individuals from the CPSU and the public authority organization. They delighted in restricted admittance to labor and products that were not accessible to the typical resident. At the lower part of the social stepping stool were the laborers and untalented specialists. They lived in neediness and had restricted admittance to labor and products. The class structure in the Soviet Union was to a not set in stone by one's occupation and training. Effect of Elite on the Education The class structure in the Soviet Union was additionally impacted by one's political associations. Individuals who had unions with the CPSU were bound to be at the highest point of the social stepping stool, regardless of whether they have a gifted work or advanced education. Religion and Politics the Soviet Union was a mainstream state, and the public authority effectively put strict recognition down. Nonetheless, religion stayed critical to numerous Soviet residents, and there was a restoration of strict confidence in the late long stretches of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was a one-party state, and the Socialist Coalition of the Soviet Union CPSU, controlled all parts of political life. The CPSU was driven by a little gathering of Politburo individuals who were the most influential individuals in the country. Dissidents and Dissent The Soviet government was prejudiced of contradiction, and the people who revolted against the public authority confronted cruel retaliations. Numerous protesters were detained or shipped off work camps. In spite of the suppression, there was a little, however, vocal dissenter development in the Soviet Union. The protesters included journalists, specialists, and researchers who supported for more prominent opportunity and a majority rule system. The End of the Soviet Union In the last part of the 1980s, Mikhail Gorbachev turned into the head of the Soviet Union. Gorbachev presented various changes, including glasnost, transparency, and perestroika, rebuilding. Be that as it may, the changes additionally prompted financial flimsiness and social agitation. In 1991, the Soviet Union fell, and the 15 republics that made up the nation acquired their freedom. Conclusion Life in the Soviet Union was a perplexing and complex experience. It was a period of both incredible advancement and extraordinary difficulty. Its heritage is as yet discussed today, however, there is no question that it assumed a significant part on the planet during the 20th 100 years.